Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for another morning meeting or daily calendar. Let's begin. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. The date is 7 14 20 or July 14th, 2020. The day of home learning is 71. So, what is in the hundreds place? Nothing. What is in the tens place? Seven. And what is in the ones place? Hey, one! Today we're going to skip count by seven. So we're actually going to borrow once again our multiplication chart so we can practice counting by seven. Now remember, multiplication cards. You find a seven and one are either going at the top where you go down or at the side where you go across. I'm going to do it from the side so you can see it with me. So seven times one is seven. Seven times two is 14. Seven times three is 21. Seven times four is 28. Seven times five is 35. Seven times six is 42. Seven times seven is 49. Seven times eight is 56. Seven times nine is 63. Seven times 10 is 70. Seven times 11 is 77. And seven times 12 is 84. So now we're gonna do it the fast way, ready? Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, and 84. I love multiplication charts. I actually have trouble with multiplications when it's the um, middle one. So like six, seven, eight, I have to think about them. So a lot of times I'll go to the five times tables and then I'll add the other numbers because I could think of those fast, but I have trouble with the six times seven or the six times six and the six times eight and et cetera. So if you have that problem, you can do the same thing. You can time spot to the five place and then add in the other ones that you know. Right now on to money. Today is money. We have a $20 bill, a $10 bill, a $5 bill, a nickel, a penny, and a penny. All right, so 20, this time we get to use our hundreds chart, is here. Now we're going to add 10. That means we go down plus 30. Now we're going to add 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 35. So we have $35. Okay, now a nickel is worth five. So now we're gonna add five and then two pennies, they're one each, one, two, and seven cents. So remember, when we write the cents, we have to make sure we put in the zero for the tens place, and seven. Okay, so one, 20, one 10 and one five is 35 dollars one nickel and two pennies is seven cents on to our time we want to make the time look like 340 so remember we always start with our minutes hands so minute hands we count by fives to get to the 40 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 so the minute hand the big hand wants to be on eight let's draw that in Okay, then we need the three. Now, look how far around this is in the clock. You want it to be doing almost the same thing in between. So we're gonna get roughly a little more than half, except it would help if I was like three. Roughly a little more than half, and there you are. This would be 340. Let me draw that in. So it kind of looks like it's pointing to the four, but it's still before the four. So you know you're all set. So that would be 340. Now, today's weather. It is sunny right now, though it's supposed to have showers on and off. Whether that still continues, I don't know. But it finally cooled, cooled down. Yay! Because right now where I am, it is 70 degrees. But it's going to get hot again. 
just a little bit though. So let's say it's gonna add another five, six degrees. What do you think it's gonna be later? Still comfortable to wear what I'm wearing. I don't know if I'd wanna like go swimming today because I think 70s are too um, low for swimming, but that's just a me thing. Maybe you guys like it. So another five degrees to 70 is 75. Exciting! But like I said, I think it's gonna rain on and off today. So let me see if I can find my weather. Yeah, it says thunder showers on and off. So fingers crossed that it waits till later to do that. All right, my bonus today. My bonus today, and I'm gonna look at the pronunciation to make sure I get it right, is a uh, ningyo or a Japanese doll. So these dolls are more to look at than play with. I would almost call them a figurine or a statue, but they are dressed in a very pretty silk kimono. So it's a kimono because it's made of silk. Um, a cotton one is called a yukata. And they're always layered. So they have one layer that's kind of like your underwear. And then they have another layer that shows just a little bit, another that shows a little bit more, and then the final layer. So this is a very fancy kimono. They would use this for a festival or a wedding or something along those lines. And then they have an obi, which is the big belt that they wear along. And she has two. So she has a double layer obi, which is a very, very fancy style. The cool thing about the kimonos is that they were designed so beautifully. They had lots of silk threads and weavings. They were embroidered with beautiful patterns. They were the brightest, prettiest colors. And if you are very stylish, you got to show your taste level by the layers that you showed inside your kimono. And then she has a very fancy hairstyle. I always wished I had beautiful hair like the Japanese people do because, oh, it's so pretty, it's long and straight and usually very thick, something I've always wanted, but it's not to be. But doesn't she look lovely? All right, I hope you guys like my little Japanese doll, my ninja. Have a good day, guys. Bye.